Attention, my fellow Black women, as we live through the public health crises that is the slaughter of Black bodies at the hands of white supremacy, please remember this quote. Caring for myself is not self-indulgence. It is self-preservation. And that is an act of political warfare by Audre Lorde. Now, time to get into the video. Love you guys. Peace. Hey y'all, my name is Nia. Welcome to my channel. As you guys could see from the title, what I am going to be doing today is sharing some bomb ass black businesses with you guys. I believe that there is power in the black dollar and I want to put my power behind black businesses. And so I'm going to be sharing with you my favorites. All of these products I've had for at least six months. Some of them I've had for many years and I've enjoyed them for many years. So I want to encourage you guys to patronize these businesses. Stay tuned. The first company we're going to be talking about today sells jewelry and accessories. They are Peace Images, and I am wearing one of their products right now. This is their Afro Mermaid necklace. I love this. I'll get a little bit closer. I've had it for like at least three years now. This is my all-time favorite necklace. It comes in two sizes. I got the smaller version just because I prefer daintier jewelry, but... I have absolutely, absolutely love, 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 love this necklace. I wear it at least once a week. Um, I believe that their products are made with real gold. I've loved everything I bought from there. I got a few, I have a few other items from there, but just to keep the, um, keep the video rolling, I'm just picking one item from each business. My only issue that I've had with this business is my original chain for this necklace did break. Now I was wearing, it to death like I was wearing that necklace like every day and maybe I wasn't taking care of the jewelry the best but once I put my little mermaid on a new chain we were good to go I'm gonna try to get that original chain fixed but definitely love peace images jewelry you guys should check it out the second company I want to talk to you guys about is Afrohemian and I absolutely love their products too they also sell accessories this is my favorite product from them it is their gold, oh man, it's shaking a lot. Let me see if I can get it to stop shaking, there we go. Their gold tamarotoralamine, I believe that's how it's pronounced, um, stone necklace. Now this company does a lot with gems and, and crystals, if that's something that you're into. I'm not really into the spiritual spirituality piece that comes along with crystals and stuff, but if you are, Afrohemian is great. They have lots of really dainty, but also Afrocentric jewelry. I really like Afrocentric jewelry, but a lot of it is very big, bold, and in your face. And so that's why I love Afrohemian. It's really dainty and easy to wear, but also has like a Afrohemian vibe. Of course, there's the name. And you will find them on Etsy. I'm linking everybody's um, information, how to get to those businesses, the, the links below. So look for that in the description box. The next company is Waste by Wednesdays. And oh my gosh, I love their waist beads. So these are the waist beads I have. I used to have two more pair, but I broke them. Pro tip, when, when wearing waist beads and you have to go pee, do not wait too long because I have snatched down my pants and broke my waist beads all over a bathroom floor. And I'm like, I'm not about to spend all day picking up these beads off of a bathroom floor. That's really gross um, because it was a public bathroom. So pro tip, just be careful. But I love their waist beads. They're pretty affordable. And they, whenever you get them, it's not like you size them to, to your waist. So you get a super long string and then I believe on their website they show you how to size them and tie it off but it's super simple so you can get them and size them to your liking i absolutely love mine i've had them for many years now so they last for a while if you don't snatch them off while you're trying to go pee yeah so i purchased the shirt that i'm wearing right now from our next business the business's name is masterminds market and they are also on etsy i have had this shirt since february 27th 2017. i can tell because i can go on etsy and see when it was delivered so 
yeah i have had this shirt for a super long time and i wear it at least like twice a month and it has held up so well as you can see the lettering has kind of started to you know that do what lettering does whenever it gets worn but it's you can still tell what it says the shirt is made really well i have a medium and i feel like the size is true to size and so i have loved this shirt for a long time. They have also a lot of really cute designs that say other things, a lot of black em black empowerment um, t-shirts. And so if you are looking for some t-shirts to you know show your black pride, I would definitely check out Masterminds Market on Etsy. I love them, yep. Okay, so I was contemplating whether or not to include this brand because I wanted this haul to be, or not a haul, this favorites video to be about um, black owned businesses that aren't getting a lot of hype. And this brand is getting a lot of hype right now, but I love it so, so much that I just, I had to include it. So the Honey Pot, most of you guys have probably seen stuff about the Honey, hot, uh, the honey Pot and the hype is not misplaced. Like it's not being overhyped. I love this feminine wash and I have tried all different types of feminine wash and or washes just because I like it to be super fresh down there and I love this and not only do it does it smell really nice it is natural and it's it's not gonna put a lot of toxins and stuff that you don't need in that area in that area so I definitely love the wash but I also like the wipes I think I like the wipes more I get more of a scent from the wipes and so what I do, this may be TMI, but I like to use the wipes right before, you know, and like you just smell fresh and you feel more confident and like your man will not want to come back up from there. So I really like the honey pot. I get the, just the, the normal, but I know they do have one that's not scented at all for individuals with sensitive skin. And I think there may be one other scent, but definitely love it. I also, my underarms are very sensitive. Sometimes they break out. So I've also been using this on my underarms too, to stay fresh and I absolutely love it. I, I really fucks with the honey pot. So that is that. Okay, so the next one is for my locked girls, Got To Be Fab Designs. They do my favorite lock jewelry and I am wearing one right now. They make lock jewelry for all different sizes of locks, traditional, sister locks, small, and they are affordable. You find them on Etsy. I also brought one other one to share with you guys. Here's another one. None of them have broken. They also come with a little card. This is how to put it on. I absolutely love, love, love this company. And not only does this company have great products, this company has one of the best, like they have the, some of the best customer service I have ever received. This company does a good job of keeping you informed on changes within their company, and I absolutely love it. And so I'm wearing my favorite one right now. One of the things that I really love about this company is that the um, the lock jewelry is pretty inexpensive. Now, I've seen a lot of lock jewelry for sister locks that is cute, but the lock jewelry I've seen for sister locks has also been very expensive. And so I believe that all of the, the items that I have purchased from them have been below like $22, $25. And so pretty affordable in my opinion. So, yeah. So yeah, go get you some got to be design. Next, I wanna to talk to you guys about my favorite black author, Alexandria House, and insert some pictures of my favorite books that I have from her on Audible. Absolutely love her. If you like a good romance novel, if you like a good like erotic fiction, check out Alexandria House. Writes the best romance um, books, and they feel really relevant and really current. It feels just really fresh and new. I absolutely love it her books my favorite one the main character is big south i don't remember the name of the or the title of the book I'll, oh but it's just it's so good check her out next i want to talk next i want to talk to you guys about my 
favorite hair care line of all time. Now, I contemplated whether or not I was gonna include hair care in here, just because we all know about a lot of these black owned hair care brands, but then I decided if I could boil it down to my absolute favorite, I would include it. So this product line was my favorite, absolute favorite when I was a loose natural, and it is my absolute favorite now as a lock natural, and it is Alake Naturals. I absolutely love their products. As a loose natural, I love the leave-in conditioner. I love the deep conditioner. I love so many of her products, and now as a lock natural, I only use two of her products, but they're two of my absolute favorite products. I love the essential growth oil, I always have to have this, like always have to have it. And then I also love the Alake Naturals Lemongrass Styling Mousse. It smells so good. All of her products smell good, guys. If you are a loose natural, you have to get that leave-in conditioner. It, uh, Especially if you have type 4 hair, especially if you have 4C hair, girl. If you have 4C hair, go get her leave-in conditioner right now. It is the best leave-in conditioner you will ever use. So I love Alake Naturals and I love that there is a beautiful picture of the business owner on the back, a black woman, and that makes me feel good when purchasing this item. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's been a joy to come on here and tell you guys about a lot of my favorite black owned businesses. I truly encourage you to support. If you like this video, please like and comment and subscribe. Also, if you like this video, please stay around for my upcoming video. I just ordered a lot of products from black owned businesses and I'm gonna do a black owned business haul. So a personal goal of mine is to by the end of 2020, have all of what I'm calling my frivolous girly shit to be bought, purchased from only black owned businesses. No, so everything falling under like what I would get from Bath and Body Works or like different things that just like moisturizers and and scrubs and um, different things that aren't necessities. I want to support black owned businesses. And so that is what I'm gonna be working towards by the end of 2020. All of my frivolous girly shit is going to be purchased from black owned businesses. And so if you like frivolous girly shit and you want to patronize black owned businesses too, stick around because I'm gonna be buying a lot of them and coming on here and telling you guys how it goes. So thank you guys so much for watching again. See you guys soon. Bye.